One, two, three, go. Good evening, I'm George Monterano. Welcome to another Fourth World segment. As you see, I'm sitting by a uh, fireplace, nice drinking hand, yet I am alone. I'm without the warmth of another person because that was all taken away from me so long ago, but I move on. And yes, fire looks nice, fire looks pleasing. But we're gonna go into a fire situation that was not so pleasing. I was on a cell block in a rough and ready prison when a riot commenced. In that riot, they started lighting fires. First, with paper they had within the cells, and they threw the paper through the bars. Then they started throwing blankets, mattresses, whatever they had. And the fools, the absolute fools they were, kept throwing stuff out onto the tier. <clears throat> I was on the second tier. First floor were throwing out items on fire. Second floor was throwing items on fire. And what would happen? We had this eruption of smoke, unimaginable, unimaginable. In fact, men succumb, men die. I did not. The reason I did not is because some instinct within me uh, uh, created something. What did I do? I took a blanket, okay, I soaked it in the toilet, I draped it upon me like a tent, and I kept flushing the toilet for air. Imagine that. This steel and stone and this fire and this smoke and the screams and no one helped. No one came to help. There was not a there, there was not a sprinkler system because the jail was so old. There was not any uh, fire department. Matter of fact, when them situations happen, when the cell block riots, especially with fire, the guards leave. <laughs> they they exit. They go to a safe area, and. Uh, when all said and done, when the fires or smoke dies down, whoever's left alive is left alive. So I, uh, I experienced that, and yes, it looks nice. I'm sitting right, nice and settled by the fireplace again, sipping a nice cordial. But uh, so much goes into my head about when uh, I am actually experiencing something nice, then I have the flashbacks of the horrors that I lived in for so many years. And uh, I remember uh, when they would light the toilet paper up and they would throw the toilet paper through the air on fire and there's these streams of fire. And these young guys, uh, they actually thought they were getting something done. They were getting some type of revenge, uh, but all they doing was destroying ourselves on the cell block and it was a horrific horrific thing that I lived through and uh, if I didn't if I didn't do use my head and soak that blanket and uh, drape it around me and kept flushing that toilet I would have might, might have been one of the bodies that were carried out and uh, I wanted to share that with it with you uh, with all of you this evening another fourth world segment and, uh, you know, there's so many stories to the stories of my life uh, that I can go on and on. Like I addressed uh, a large audience at the University of Pennsylvania at the Annenberg Theater. You know, the people who were at the edge of their seats wanting to hear these stories that I delivered. But I lived them, I survived them, and I wish them all no one. Again, I'm George Martirano, sharing with you Fourth World segment. Good evening.